Ever since starting this account, I've always wanted to set my respawn point to Edgeville, so whenever I died, I could just spawn right beside the wilderness. Not only would this change help the account feel more pure, but it would also save me the time it takes to walk all the way from Lumbridge back to my area. And on top of that, it's actually going to act as a very helpful tool for me to complete some very long grinds, which we're going to talk about in this video. Now, setting my respawn to Edgeville would be very nice, except one very big obstacle stands in the way. Respawn point, Edgeville. Crystalia in the Edgeville jail cell can change the player's respawn in Edgeville for a one-time fee of 5 million coins. So it's not going to be easy, it's going to take a very long time, but by the end of this episode, we will have completed the Edgeville respawn unlock. Unfortunately, with the wilderness, there is no easy way out, and getting 5 million GP is definitely not an easy task. After doing some thinking, I came up with two very reasonable methods of how I could acquire 5 million GP. Now, of the two methods, the first one I thought of was killing revenants, which sounded great at first, but I soon realized it was a terrible idea. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great alkable drops that revenants have, except the main thing I was after was landing a rare ancient totem drop, which could range me anywhere from a 500k to 16 mil cash payout, if I traded it in successfully, assuming I never died after getting the drop. Because I am killing low level tier revenants, the chance of me actually landing any good alkable or the ancient totem is extremely low, and this would take forever. I would basically just have to rely on very good RNG, plus on top of that I'd be getting PK'd a lot and that would just suck. And as a side note, I would be scald the entire time to increase my drops which would make me a much higher PK target. So instead, we're going to be doing number 2, which is farming ecumenical keys from the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. As opposed to Revenants, the God Wars Wilderness dungeon barely has any PKers and the money you get from the keys is very consistent but very, very slow. On average, you're looking at around 2.5 keys an hour, or at least that's what I got. Every time one of these bad boys is landed as a drop, I secure myself 61.5k cash in a high alk, then I have to hop worlds to avoid the three minute timer that there is hidden every time you get a key, so you have to hop worlds to make sure you reset it, so that you're allowed to get another key drop. Assuming I'm alking every first key I get, the drop rate remains a 1 in 60 chance for every single key, which can be dropped by any monster in the dungeon that I have damaged and dies. So currently we're looking at around 540k cash plus around 250k in high alks from the actual revenants we did from two episodes ago, which means that we're sitting at around 800k cash, meaning we need 4.2 mil more to reach that 5 mil. And I'm sure you're wondering, how many keys will this take, as I was at this point in time? And it's going to take around 68 ecumenical keys, but probably more like 70 to 72, because I'm going to be spending 150 to 200k on runes, since I will be using Fire Strike for maximum range in the actual cave. I'm going to be getting around 2.5 of these per hour, which rounds to around a 30 hour grind for simply just getting the keys. This does not include time it takes to buy runes, and banking between trips, plus, you know, potential setbacks, such as dying. Essentially, I have to hit a 1 in 60 drop rate 70 times, meaning that I have to just kill 4,200 things in the cave, and the grind should be over. It's a sp a first trip of many done, 186k, which is 3 keys from that trip. We ran out of runes, so yeah, it's time to go back. This is gonna take forever, man. That trip was like an hour and a half alone. 2,000 more fire strikes in the bag. Let's see how many keys this gets us. Oh my god, second imp kill. Already an ecumenical key of the trip, although we forgot our nature runes, so we can't alk it. We're gonna have to go back to the bank, goddammit. No way! It's only been like 10 minutes. I just got the nature runes and came back. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes, and that's our third one, so yeah what 
Now there's a very specific reason I'm not hopping worlds for this grind, and it's to get exactly that. A genie. <gasps> Is this even real life? Like, I, I, the RNG. <sighs> Don't really know how to feel right now. Feel kind of gutted. Kind of just want to log out. Like, we just got set back seven keys with an amazing trip. And we just got TB and died instantly. Wow. It literally just took me the same time I just got seven keys to get this one. That's nice to see. A genie. That's actually back-to-back -back genie randoms. Last one I had on the last trip was a genie as well. This time, I hope we don't lose the lamp because I want to show you guys something I'm going to be doing with it. Holy crap. So back to back to back genies and the last two were within 20 minutes of each other. That's nuts. And that key's going to end off the trip. Don't want to risk the cash again. Could stay here for longer, but with only four pizzas, I really don't want to get set back another 240k. All right. So I was not expecting that insane genie luck. And now because we have two lamps and I'm done lamping crafting, I'm going to use these to help boost up my smithing grind. Now before I can train any smithing on my account, I need 15 smithing. I explained in episode 5, I need 193 bronze bars to actually get my smithing level to 15. To claim the bronze bars, I was using a method where I would hop between worlds to constantly kill this low HP level 25 skeleton that had it on its drop table, dropping it at a 1 out of 32 chance. Now I was going to do this for 193 bronze bars, it would have taken easily over 50 hours, but since I finished lamp and crafting so fast, I have another skill I can lamp. So why not use all of the bronze bars I've acquired thus far to get some early smithing levels, this way I can maximize the EXP each genie lamp gives me for the future to make this grind way less tedious than it already is. There's actually an anvil right beside the mage bank which is very convenient and I'll probably be using this a lot for future smithing grinds. All right, there it is. All 30 bronze bars used and I'm so happy that it actually got us to five smithing, which now gives us 50 EXP per lamp. Oh my God, that's like four bars each lamp that I don't have to get. Actually, it's more like three bars each lamp. I don't have to get from skeletons. This is just game changing. And yes, I did make bronze nails. You're going to have to wait for Wilderness Discovery Episodes 2 for that one. I'm done. Four genies back to back. Is that a record? Is that an actual record though? And that lamp also got us up to six smithing. So nice. We are done. Another trip of Key Simulator. We actually got 307k. I believe that got us around three keys an hour, so not bad. The stack just keeps growing and growing. Almost two mil cash. There's just one problem. We're out of food, so we're going to have to go do Pizza Simulator. Although we should be good for around one more trip. Nice, nice. Average two key trip there on the last one. It bumped us up to over two mil cash, guys, but now we gotta go back to the kitchen because we need some food. And 61 cooking. Hold up. I just got my second best in slot boots, guys. Black boots from Bloodveld's. I actually forgot to mention this in a previous video, I completely forgot about it, but there it is. Yeah, we do have a high enough Slayer level to actually kill Bloodvelds from Wilderness Slayer, so yeah, there it is, melee upgrade number something. Whew, another trip done. It looks like a good trip, but I actually just died to a monster, so I brought more runes and decided to just keep killing them, which is why I have 369k cash. Oh my god, it, it feels like it's actually been an eternity since I've been getting ecumenical keys, but... The cash stack going up is just the most rewarding thing ever. Oh my god, we've been here for pretty much all of 72 made. Genie. And another one? So, with the lamp before and this one combined, smithing is now 7. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you're a jealous snowflake Iron Man, comment below. Because we have 7 smithing, 70 smithing EXP locked in. I haven't been recording every key, of course, but... That is going to be the last one of the trip. This one was actually a really good RNG trip. Okay, like three minutes later, another one. Sick. What a massive trip. Almost up to four mil. To think I would have been at over four mil now if I didn't get set back around 300k. But that's okay, guys. We're going strong. The, gr the, the grind's crazy, but we're going strong. Right after that trip, 
Karma got me good. One key trip in two hours-ish. Another whole mage level here. 73 mage. Yikes. It's a bull. Wait, it's not a bull. Wait, no. I actually got it wrong. Uh, another long trip. Got another pair of black boots as well. 4.2 mil. 800k left, guys. We're almost there. Key, key, key. Oh my god, dude. We're like one trip away if we stay for a very long time. Oh my god. It's done. I, I don't even have an Alcaroon for this inventory because I used them all up. But that's the last key. That's it. It's done. We Alc the last ecumenical key. Put the cash in the bank. We're 10k off. We can just Alc a few mahogany planks that I got earlier from Revenants that I didn't bother alking, and then we should be good. Probably the best achievement I've gotten on this account, maybe besides the deep pickaxe. All right, now let's get this spawn. What can you do apart from Slayer Master stuff? Quite a lot, those stupid guards think they've tried, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Hey, perhaps you'd like me to fix it so that you respawn in Edgeville whenever you die. If you love the wilderness as much as I do, I mean, look who I am. Like, come on. I think I do. I want a one-off payment of 5 million coins. Here it is. Switch my respawn Edgeville and 5 mil gone just like that, guys. But now, if we die, no more Lumbridge. We stay in Edgeville. I'm just going to pick these nettles, which damage you for two each time you attempt to actually pick them just to finally celebrate this achievement.